I became I first became involved in art as a child. Um, my parents gave me a Kodak Brownie Hawkeye camera, which is a box camera, film camera from way back in the day. I'm sure the older generation will know what I'm talking about. The younger generation will be like, what? <laughs> but that's how I got started with photography as a child in elementary school. And I remember I remember photographing class trips when we would go out to the zoo or what have you. And of course there was a long succession of cameras since then. Uh, I also remember as a child going to photograph the car shows at the DC Armory and things of that nature. And so it's just really been a long progression. I really got um, took a strong interest in photography when after, right after I graduated from high school, immediately after. I don't know whether it was like I was struck by a bolt of lightning or something to really kind of pump up my involvement in it. So that's how I got started in photography and art. I do art photography. It's my specialty, fine art. I have done other types of work, including weddings and portraits and events and so on and so forth. But art photography is really where my heart lies. I'm able to express myself fully and completely through my, through my craft and my medium. Um, I'm a digital photographer. I started in film as a child, like I said, and progressed essentially for decades, uh, shooting up to and including professional film work, film photography work on the West Coast. I became, I first learned of digital photography in the early 80s, about 1982. And, but the, the technology was so expensive at the time, no one could afford it. You had to work for somebody uh, to work on a $1 million proprietary closed loop system to learn the digital imaging. And once you were trained, they tried to work you to death to recoup the investment. Um, so I was never able to get in on that. But I figured, you know, all I have to do is wait long enough and the technology would come trickling down. And I was standing there waiting for it when it got there, you know. So um, I started on a Macintosh computer around 1991 or two, I believe. When I was working in the San Francisco Chronicle newspaper, um, I went and talked to the art director, who didn't really know me that well, but she knew who I was as far as my function in the paper. I uh, asked her if I could come in on Sunday evenings, the, the slowest time of the week, and basically teach myself a computer. And she's like, of course. So I went in, but I had to, I really had to grind it out myself. I learned by opening the manual, reading the manual, doing a little bit, going back to the manual. I'll never forget this one artist who used to work there on Sunday nights. And anytime I had a question, I would turn to him and say, well, John, can you? He said, no, Dwayne, the manual was over there. Read it. So that's what I did. And that's how I got started. Um, I didn't have anybody like holding my hand to show me the way. I didn't take any classes for it as far as the digital imaging part of it. Later on, I was granted access to the Chronicle Photo Lab uh, to essentially come in anytime I had the time to learn and practice and become better. So I really value that a lot. And, and i like to thank them for that if they're watching. <laughs> so. Dwayne tells us more about some of the subjects and items that he likes to film. But I'm a digital photographer. That's, that's what I do. The types of work that I like to photograph are based on my passions in life. I'm interested in many different things, um, such as fantastic flowers from nature, such as Grand Prix racing motorcycles. I used to photograph uh, the races out of Laguna Seca Raceway and formerly Sears Point in California in the Bay Area. Fast cars. Uh, I'm a speed guy. You know, I'm into speed. I like, I like, I'm inspired by things of beauty. Uh, that's one of the reasons I shoot nature and, and flowers in particular. Um, I like industry. Uh, when I was here in Lynchburg a few weeks ago, I was in a industrial part of Lynchburg just grabbing a few shots. I didn't really have a lot of time, but I went out and grabbed a few shots. I, I took the time to at least do that while I was here. We asked Dwayne why would he want to bring this art exhibit to Lynchburg. About having the public works of Sergeant Johnson here in Lynchburg is that Sergeant Johnson was a famous African American artist of his time, but he was so skilled and so respected by the arts community that his his reputation, I guess you would say, transcended race. He was respected by by the white art, communi art community, the black art community, and everyone else out there. He was friends with Diego Rivera, the famous muralist from Mexico. I mean, these are the kind of people that, that he socialized with. So he was no joke at all. Um, I, I was actually commissioned to do this show. I had heard, living in the Bay Area as a, as a black artist, you hear the name Sergeant Johnson. And I really didn't know who he was, but I was actually commissioned to, to produce the show, and so consequently I've learned a lot about him. And in my opinion, this guy was a genius, and I think he was way ahead of his time. <coughs> Excuse me, way ahead of his time. 
he um, he was very skilled in different media. I mean, he was a printmaker, a, a graphic artist, a sculptor, a carver, a painter. Um, it just goes. It probably be easier to tell you what he didn't do, to be honest. And he was he was a master in each media, and I think that's very rare. I I got this opportunity to have a show, to have an exhibition here at the at Africa House Gallery in Lynchburg, and I think. I thought that this show would be the perfect match for this venue. I mean, I have other work here today, botanicals and Ferrari images, and I know that's quite a mix to have with some historical work like this, but I felt like I'm coming 3,000 miles. Let me bring some of my other stuff too, so people can kind of see more of what I'm about. I do plan to come back at some point, hopefully for another show. Um, but a lot of people in the East Coast have not heard of Sergeant Johnson. They don't know who Sergeant Johnson is. And he was part of the Harlem Renaissance era and was certainly impacted by that whole movement. And it's important for us, I think as African Americans, it's important for us as Americans to know about this man. Supremely talented. The, most of these works that are depicted here today were produced through the Federal Art Project, which was part of the Works Progress Administration, which as you know was established by President uh, Franklin Roosevelt to put people back to work in the post-depression years. And there were thousands of artists that were put to work. There were thousands of people that were put to work, of course, but through the Federal Art Project, there were thousands of artists that were put to work during that time, uh, producing work and you know keeping themselves going and their families. So this is important. This is important history. It's not just because he's black. He was he was a supremely talented artist. Dr. Brenda Waller is instrumental in this show being here in Lynchburg today. If it were not for her, this show would not be here. It's that simple. Uh, we're, we're friends from a long time ago. We met at Howard University. Uh, but she, she's a long time collector of my work, a long time supporter of my business. Um, and she essentially set this show up and, and made this happen. And she has facilitated the show all the way down the line in many different forms. And I am deeply indebted to her. Uh, people can learn more about me and my work uh, starting off with my website, that's DwayneConliffe.com, and I'll spell it, it's D-U-A-N-E-C-O-N-L-I-F-F-E.com. I have currently posted some, a nice little sample of my work. I'm always modifying my website, taking stuff off and putting new things on. So if you go there and you don't see what you like, check back. I'll have something there at some point. My email address is DwayneConliffe at DigitaliaPhoto.com, and I'll spell it. I already spelled Dwayne Conlon, so D Digitalia Photo is D I G I T A L I A P H O T O. Dwayne Conlon at digitaliaphoto.com. My business is titled Digitalia Photographica. And I like to think of that as, as an entity that presents exotic digital imagery and lifestyle accessories. Dwayne Cunliffe concludes our segment with his final words. I think everybody in the city of Lynchburg and the surrounding counties need to come down here and see this show. This show will be up through December 15th. Uh, there's plenty of opportunity. This gallery is open. The usual gallery hours are Saturdays from 12 to 3 and also during the week by appointment. This is Africa House Gallery. You can find the contact information at africahouse.org. It's located right here on Garfield Street. Um, in Lynchburg. The contact information for the gallery is on the website. The gallery owner's name is Ann Van de Graaff, and she's a wonderful lady and will be very happy to have you come see the show.